Well hello, this is Michael Dore from the Avon Project team, and this is a very rare video from me, I don't usually cam. So it's Asexual Awareness Week, and I hope you're all having a great week. I know there are lots of events happening across the world, um, so I hope it's going great. This video is about a letter written by a group of researchers, including some of the leading names researching sexuality in relation to asexuality in particular, that I'd like to share, I'd like you to share on whatever platform you have available. Some of you will have seen this letter before, but we've added lots of new SIGs to it, um, and thanks everyone who has signed it. Um, and as it's Asexual Awareness Week, we'd like to release it again with all the new signatures. So what's it about? Well, recently I've been in correspondence with the Office of National Statistics in the UK. They came to us at Aben originally to find research subjects, testing out some questions um, that they were floating, um, to see how people on the ACE spectrum found them. Now, following this, I took part in a consultation meeting with them in London as an Aben rep on the subject of um, the UK Census 2021, where they're considering both a gender ID question and a sexual ID question. I should say I've had a lot of fantastic support from the community, um, both with coordinating this letter from the researchers and also the research that was required to go to this meeting um, um, and take part effectively. That was quite major. So thank you for that. Um, so I should give some background for non-UK people. Um, the UK census is taken once a decade in the UK and it's compulsory. Um, so we'd be talking about data on a national scale here if we could get a question in that mentioned asexuality. Um, so I went there and, of course, my main purpose was precisely that, to argue for the inclusion of asexuality as an option on the sexual identity, identity question. Um, and so as a brief update, um, the consultation went well. Everyone there, um, which is other LGBTQ plus activists, and there were also government officials, public sector workers, academics, researchers, they, they were all very receptive to the points made. I think there was widespread agreement that, you know, if we have one huge other box, you know, just the sexual identities that are actually listed explicitly are just bi, gay, straight, and then with this other, that isn't really that helpful because we're then failing to understand what may be a very significant part of the queer community. Um, their preliminary results um, even suggested that um, this other box is really quite large. In fact, it's either comparable or actually larger than um, the number of people they had for gay in their preliminary results. Um, now, of course, not everyone who ticks other is asexual or ace, um, but likely a significant portion are. Now, unfortunately, there's quite a lot of inertia behind what they call their harmonised question, which um, only has explicit options of bi, gay, straight and then other. Um, for sexual identity, uh, identities. So I think the point that sometimes doesn't come across, across strongly enough um, is that asexuality is not some peripheral rare orientation at the corner of the LGBTQ plus spectrum. You know, we're a major sexual orientation and uh, identity. Um, and, you know, we've had, uh, historically, we haven't had very much visibility, which is why this, this sort of false impression comes that asexuality is something very peripheral. Um, and, you know, the 1% figure that is often quoted, um, which arises from this 2004 study of Bogut, is generally thought to be an underestimate. So anyway, we coordinated this letter from some leading researchers in the field of sexuality and beyond, and also therapists. Um, one of the researchers, incidentally, was um, Bogut, who I mentioned earlier, but there were many other um, leading, leading researchers. Um, and they make a, persuasive a, a very persuasive case for the inclusion of asexuality. Um, it would be great if we could make a real splash with this for Asexual Awareness Week. Let's get the attention of the Office of National Statistics. So please, reblog the letter, um, spread it in any way you can. Let's make the letter go viral. If you're on Twitter, uh, you can use the, I think this is a tag, I'm not good at Twitter, tag at ONS. And uh, the hashtag we've been using is hash count aces, all one word. And of course, feel free to add your own message of support for why um, it's so important to include asexuality. It would be truly groundbreaking to get asexuality on the census. I mean, for the UK especially, but also beyond, as it would give us a data on a scale that hasn't been seen before. So yeah, that's it for me. I won't ramble anymore. Uh, please check out the letter. Bye for now.